it, boys and girls. Today we're going to review, spend a little bit of time talking about bar graphs. So I know you've spent a lot of time talking about bar graphs throughout the year of kindergarten. Today we're going to take some time to go back and review what you've learned, play a little game with it. Bar graphs are a really awesome way to see information very clearly. Bar graphs are very helpful to compare two different things, two or more different things to one another, and to also get some information about one single thing. So please look at your screen. In today's bar graph, we're going to look at animals and we're going to answer questions using the bar graph to help us answer the questions. Okay, so the first question says, which animal has the most? Which animal has the most? When I think of most, I think of the biggest number, not the smallest, the biggest. Okay, so just look at that graph and without even counting, you can be, a, you can, you're able to answer that question. Which animal has the most? Okay, if you said hippopotamus, you are right. I can tell just by looking at it, but let me prove it because all good mathematicians double check. All right, so hippopotamus has one, two, three, four, five bars colored in. Now the lion comes close with one, two, three, four bars, but what's bigger, five or four? Yeah, five is bigger, so the hippopotamus has the most. Let me go ahead and check him off. Good job. Okay, now let's look at our next question. The next question says, how many ladybugs? Okay, so I want you to go up to the picture of the ladybug and count how many bars are colored next to the ladybug. Can you figure out what that number is? I want you to point to it on the screen. Okay, if you answered two, you are correct. There are one, two ladybugs. Very good. Okay, let's try the next one. How many frogs is the question? How many frogs? Okay, find the picture of the frog. Count how many bars are colored in. Okay, I see one, two, three, four frogs next to the picture of the frog. If you said four, excellent job, kindergarten. Okay, now the next question says, which animal has the least? Now, we talked about most, that's the biggest number. Least is the opposite. Least means the smallest number. So just look at that graph. You don't even need to count right now. Look. And visually, which one has the least? Okay, if you said zebra, excellent. Zebra has only two. The monkey comes close with three. But if we're talking about least, the smallest number, two is smaller than three. So the answer of zebra would be correct. How many turtles are there? Okay, find that turtle. Count how many bars are colored in. Okay, did you find that answer? Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five. If you answered five, you are correct. Okay, now the question says, how many hippos are there? Count how many hippos. Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five. I see five hippos. Did you get that same answer, boys and girls? If you did, great job. Which animal has the least? Okay, so just by visually looking, I see a ladybug, 
a turtle, a butterfly, and a frog. Okay, which one has the least? A butterfly with only one. Great job. How many lions are there? Find the picture of the lion and count next to the lion. I see one, two, three, four. Four lions. Great job. Now it gets a little bit tricky. It says, how many hippos and lions? How many hippos and lions? So that means we're going to put those two numbers together. We're going to add them. Okay, so there are five hippos and there are four lions. So we're going to start at five and we're going to count on four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many hippos and lions are there? There are nine. Good job. Now we're going to do a subtraction problem. We're going to take away. It says, how many more turtles than frogs? How many more turtles than frogs? Well, look, compare the amount of turtles to frogs. Okay, one frog matches one turtle. Two frogs that matches two turtles. Three frogs matches three turtles. Four frogs matches four turtles. <gasps> but there's one extra turtle. There's one extra one. How many more turtles than frogs? There's one. How many more means subtraction. Five minus four equals one. Boys and girls, I had so much fun working on this bar graph with you today. When I see you again the next time, we're going to be talking about a different kind of graph. So till I see you next, bye boys and girls.